be out of anything. And I'm so happy to have our main speaker for the day, Dr. Shita Desai, with her friend also who is coming all the way from Michigan. And of course, we have our regulars like Suresh Bhai, Renuka Ji, and Meeta, of course. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> And our new, you know, uh, member joined today, Kiyo, right? Kiyo. So, we're going to have this live, and we want you to follow it very soon. We're going to have Dr. Shiri Desai present her uh, presentation today live, very soon. So, um, welcome everybody to NJPR Live. Thank you. Now, can, can you tell a little bit more about NJPR? Sure. So, question is, can we talk about NJPRF? And NJPRF used to be New Jersey professionals, but now we have basically, you know, we have included New York, we have included Pennsylvania, we have included Michigan, and more and more states. So, we are going, you know, countrywide, we are going US-wide. So we should actually change our name to USPRF, right? Because USA Professionals. The goal of um, NJPRF is to bring in professionals from all different classifications. And we are very proud to have doctors, attorneys, <coughs> professionals from all different fields like accountants, uh, tax professionals, estate planning, financial planning, and uh, Travel agency, <laughs> travel planners, yes. And what do you do here? Pharmaceuticals. Wow. And uh, I'm not what you. classification can we give you? Consumer. 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 Okay. Having fun. <laughs> and of course, we have Nita, who is an IT professional. So we are professionals of all different fields. And uh, we are growing as we speak. Uh, at last count, I think we are like 75 uh, members. Uh, a lot of them are active, and we want to invite more and more people to join us. So, welcome to this edition of Indian. Would, like Would you like to say how often do you meet? Yeah, we meet every Wednesday evening at uh, 8 p.m. and normal duration is one hour, 60 minutes. So, uh, all of you are welcome to come and join us. Uh, the only requirement is that you uh, bring in something, add something to the NJPR. And uh, like we have here, we only have people who just want to benefit from having access to professionals who otherwise they wouldn't have. So we are very proud of our professionals for giving them our time, time and, uh, and helping the community at large with their expertise, sharing the knowledge. So we are extremely grateful to Dr. Desai and Renukaji, Suresh everybody else uh, who has come here today to give their valuable time and uh, give you valuable knowledge. So again, thank you. This is, first of all, this is an in-person meeting for after a really long time, after a really long time, and so, here we are at Akbar restaurant and having a good time as well. And then we are going to continue with our talks. All right, so there we go. Everybody, hi, once again. And I'm going to go around circle and back to Shailesh. Okay. So, Dr. Sheetal Desai, over to you. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Dr. Sheetal Desai, physical therapist, private practice in Long Island, flexible in Glencoe, of New York. And I've uh, been practicing for 30 plus years and uh, enjoy helping, helping everyone get better and uh, understand your own value, uh, understand your body, understand your conditions, understand your problems that you're going through and try to proactively work on fixing it before it becomes chronic. So I'm going to have everyone introduce themselves and then we'll speak further. Suresh. <coughs> Close associate of uh, Salish Mehta, uh, who has been uh, helping me all along the way. Uh, he's truly a, a master and a scholar in every possible way. And 
I look forward to spend time with him and being with him and learn new things from him. And I welcome everybody here today at Akbar. We are really enjoying the food. It's a good gathering. I wish if we had uh, more people, everybody would have joined us, but because this thing was planned on a very short notice. Not many people were able to, uh, to join because they already had their plans. <clears throat> and now we pass it on to Miss Reno Saksana. Hello Reno Ji. Hi, I am Reno Saksana. Uh, I am a travel agency, Sun and Sun Holidays LLC. And we organize tours all over the world. From side booking to hotels, sightseeing, everything is included in our packages. We also do tour packages with Indian names. So people who are interested in groups and they can have with Indian names, we organize all types of tours. Otherwise also American tours also we do. And if anybody asks for any particular company, we organize. We give the same cost whatever is uh, uh, provided by the companies and you have to just inform us number of days and where do you want to be uh, where uh, you want to visit so please if you have any queries or if you have any plan in future call me at 732-986-0860 thank you hi I'm Neeta Mehta. I'm an IT trainer and a consultant. Uh, I do mainly corporate training, but I also do a lot of consulting work. But you know what? Everybody is into the IT field these days because pandemic has made you go, you know, virtual. Doctors as well as you know, individuals. Any concerns you have about any of your apps, feel free to contact. I've been under my belt, I've had network engineering, SharePoint designing, web designing, graphic designing, animation, movie edit, so on and so on and so on. It's been a long career as I call it, <laughs> alright? Feel free to contact me. Um, you can contact me via Shaila, she's my wonderful, <laughs> wonderful husband, you know. <laughs> 40 years of partnership, so there you go. So feel free to contact me through him, otherwise my number is 201-406. 1699 and then probably in the future I'll give you my email addresses. Alright, here we go. Next. Hi, I'm Hadevi. I'm, I'm just coming to join the, all the professional people here. I just want to know how to be taken care of. So I just happen to know them. So that's about it. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kewal. Kewal ji. My name is Kevin Sip and uh, I'm a pharmaceutical consultant um, in the, particularly in the uh, area of the right things for missions, quality assurance and quality control. And in addition also, now I'm doing the smart and option trading for my personal work. And, uh, but I still need to obtain information to you be successful people and I can be contacted also on 732-669-7454. In addition to that, my greatest passion is human nature story, which I learn from wherever I go and wherever I meet people. And the most important aspect of the human nature is this that uh, I want to forgive somebody, I say I forgive, but my inside doesn't accept it. Then what is the way to make it accepted? We have to go to the structure, total structure, not the structure which my mind would like to be, scientific structure okay, where it originated from. Is it your fault or somebody else's fault? It finally comes out to be that when somebody hurt you, it is your fault. Why? Because he hurt me that I was in a hospital, but how come it is my fault that I was not aware enough to recognize the situation and make a detachment? It's a wonderful way to look at it. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one, Kevin Pai. Thank you. Very Thank you. Hello, <coughs> Silesh Mehta. 176 years young, 
I am so happy to be here today. I represent New York Life Insurance Company and our goal is to help each and every one of you. I feel really, really sad when I find people who are not protecting themselves or their families and as a result, if and when a situation does come up in their lives, they are not financially prepared. My goal as a financial planner is to prepare you for every step of life and to enjoy your life and enjoy all the effort and planning that you have put. I will help you make sure that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. So, Silesh with the New York Life is the company you keep. Welcome. Hi, my name is Sanika Shastri and I'm from Michigan, Detroit. I'm also known as Iskon Detroit Dance Group and also Miraki Fashion Show Group. I have my own shows. I also volunteer for the community and uh, I believe in social awareness. So this is a wonderful opportunity to meet all the successful professional people and with the guest, Dr. Shitu Desai. She is my best friend since college. And this is very good to get connected with this professional group of people. And health is your wealth. So we are here, me and Chito is here to promote that with this new group of people. And thank you so much for welcoming me. Thank you. So now without further ado, let's give it to Dr. Sheetal Desai, who's going to enlighten us with some really good knowledge for all of us. What do you, Dr. Sheetal Desai? Hi everyone, again my name is um, Dr. Shinto Desai and I am here to speak to all of you about how to make sure that you stay healthy and uh, take care of your body. As we all grow in age, um, I guess when even if you're one year old, you're old, right? So we have to grow efficiently and we have to grow beautifully. Um, as we age, we have to make sure that our, um, our function is well maintained, our joints are well maintained, our posture is well maintained, you're able to do things very happily and lovingly and make sure you're happy. Okay. So right now because of the, um, the pandemic and uh, the situations have changed in the last year or so, we all have really limited our life in the two and a half inch screen. Yeah, everybody either in a two and a half inch screen or in a 12 inch screen of your computer. So you have to make sure the longest period of time that you're spending on with either position, you maintain your posture well. So I wanted to take this time to describe how you maintain your neck posture, your back posture, your legs posture, your shoulders, so that you're not ending up in pains down the road, okay? So certain small exercises, I think Min Sailesh Ji mentioned that he wanted us to talk together. We wanted to describe how we can do a few things together on to just make sure that we move around well, you know, move our bodies well, uh, move our uh, system well, so that it's not hurting us at the down road. Down the road. So, um, Sangeeta has joined me with um, at this time just to show us a few things together of what a few exercises we can do while you're either sitting on the computer or um, working at your desk. What you should be making sure that you are. Um, I think most of us are professionals that are at least. For leisure or work, we're using the computer, yes. right? Right? Yes. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we are, for, when we are sitting for leisure, we may be taking more time during leisure than computer. So, as I was suggesting, when, if, how do we normally look at a phone? Down. We look down, right? right? If we look down, our neck is almost 50 yep. degree bent, 50 degrees, right? Yep. So, the, the more... So our neck being a body, like weight, maybe 20, 30 pounds, when the neck goes forward, the more it goes forward, that much stress is on your spine. So it's very important for you to position whatever you're looking at at your eye level so that you're not hurting your spine and for a long time. So if you're looking at a, a computer monitor, it should be at your eye level. Your elbows should be resting comfortably. So you have your mouse and your keyboard at a comfortable level, so your elbow is supported. You don't want to, you don't want to have a, a, a different position or a weird position, or, or, or you're leaning forward too much for a longest period of time. Because what you, what happens is you realize you're only going to answer one email, and you could be sitting there for 20 minutes surfing the net. 
So you're in the wrong position surfing internet or finishing up your paperwork or computer work in a faulty posture. So thank you there. Would you mind showing uh, the right? Yeah, you can see. So what is the correct posture should be? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go a little bit basic. We say we have seven cervical vertebrae. So the functions mm -hmm. of the first and second cervical vertebrae is the first one is yes and no. C2, cervical second vertebrae is no. Mm -hmm. That's the rotation. What happened during our lifetime? This first vertebrae are worn out. Correct. So it goes to the C7. That's it. Down there. Yeah. So we become like okay. One and that's seven. This is seven. Do you want to you can feel the bump on your neck? If you all look at your the back of your neck, there's a bump. bump. Yes. That is a seven. So C5, 6 and 7 are the vertebrae is taking over the function of the C1 and 2. That's why we have pain in this area. And that goes to your Shoulder, shoulders and arms it. and wrist and so for this i'm just going to show you a few simple exercises and stretches because this connect. neck and shoulder mm -hmm. is connected and plus can you show the shoulder scapular region so this yeah so when there is nerves that come out from here mm -hmm. and bother all this is the area you will feel pain so when you're not in a good posture you will feel all this hurting so can you show some exercises that you can show so while you're at the computer after you finish every few 15 minutes or 20 minutes do a few exercises that you can do so first of all like let me say tuck your cheek put your finger or down your nose yes. area tuck your cheek yep okay so this is there is not, not much movement it's a static exercise yeah, it's that. basically okay so that mm -hmm. is one to push tuck your cheek <laughs> okay. see cheese so you can go automatically. Yes. There are some pillow exercises that I cannot show you like right now. Well, right. But in the more line, it's like the second one is the rotation symbol. When you do your neck movement, put your hands around your hips. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have good feet placement. Mm -hmm. And then you can start doing from the rotation very slowly. Keep your eyes open so you don't feel busy. And the second one is down. Up. Don't go like this because we all have arthritic changes, it can fracture your neck. So, you don't just go up to neutral. After this, you can do the shoulder exercise. The easiest is you can do with me. Yeah. I can we can all do it right. we all okay. Is this up and down? Yeah, is this lift your shoulders and down? Yes, and then the second one, you can do all the same exercise in sitting so, on a chair. Also. Correct, you can just do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. this is into the rotation of your arms. Okay. Then you clasp your hand. Good. Then bring you. it up. And reach for the ceiling. Oh. Reach for the, the sky. Yes. For the sky. Oh. And then gradually, if you have pain, you go very gradually. Yeah, very gradual. slowly. And bring it to your lap. Mm -hmm. Totally. Then there is some rotation. Right. You go this way. Mm -hmm. Hold. Yeah. And then go. And bring your elbows together. Right. <laughs> up, up and out. In and out. Go clockwise and then she clockwise. Both. Yeah. So you go. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Up. There and then you go, go the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're you, that's because you're not used to doing it. Right? Right? You have to learn to do it. Do it right. That too. Yeah, this one actually class here. Yeah. So yep. You and bring your elbows yeah. together. This really helps. The pulling it all the way back really helps. And the progression to this is on the back. Yep. I just bring it back. I know that. So bring your shoulder blades yeah. together. Yep. yep. And then this is this is advanced. So it's getting shoulders. advanced. So your shoulders don't get stiff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So your rotations of your shoulders. Correct. This is there and then the important is stretch your all the upper extremity muscles. Right. Before you let it. A simple stretch which usually therapists do but i'll show you one mm -hmm. if you're pain on left side of neck which is very common in females correct okay here or the mid here so you put your hand like this correct okay make a cup yeah grasp your occiput okay 
Now, turn your head to the right and close. Oh. And count up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, so are you keeping the, are you keeping any pressure with your uh, hand? Yes, you have that to hand hold down. All right. I want all of you to try this. Any side, like, do it. It's right beneficial. Let's so let's do one this. Hand on your back. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make you stand up. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. It'll be a lot easier. No, it, it's, it's it's fun. Yeah. No, uh, you clasp your um, uh, right. Hand, right hand. Then turn your head to the right. Right. And then put your hand up, put your head down as much as you can go. Right. Yeah, pull down as much as you can. And you can take a stretch here. Yeah. Okay. Then go your hand, come back to the neutral position and you will see you will feel the difference. The stretch and then you can stretch. Yeah, because majority of time you go like this as soon as you Yeah. And uh, so I guess I guess the idea is to not pull down sideways as much to the side as possible? Is that what it no, is? This is rotation. So, so, it's, it's, rotation so it's, you're going down. All right. Show, show them the trapezius rotation. Like this. There's a muscle. This right. From here, from yeah. Oh, yeah. Here and all the way up here. Yeah. All of us, all of us develop these wonderful knots for which we go for exactly. massages. And that's, why and that's what they work on it. Correct. Yeah, Correct. This is a huge muscle. Correct. So you can actually... So it helps to reduce, it helps to stretch it out so those, those wonderful knots don't happen. Yes, so I'm going to show you the facet stretch. Yeah, about 10 feet. So what we do if you have shoulder pain, going to your arms, bend your elbows, bring it up. Right. Okay? Put your hand. You don't need to do that. You don't need to. Right. Let me show on you. Go there. Take your jacket off, honey. <laughs> That'll help. That helps because the jacket restricts your movement. No. Okay. Go, go, bend your elbow like this. Here. Here. Okay. Bring it up. Okay. Take your other hand. Put it here. Go up, up, up. You feel the stretch over here. Correct. So both the arms you can do. And the progression of this is you put it here, bring it up here, here and then pull it. The other the other side. Support it. Support. Nay, upper, upper, kariye. Upper, kariye. Nay, nay, nay. Ye ha, ye elbow upper, kariye. You. As much as you can go. Yeah, but if you have pain here, then. Yeah, that's the Shoulder is stiff. Your shoulder is stiff. You have to do it slowly. You have to keep doing it. Try it. Try it. Yes, but that one is. Whenever you have arm pain. Um, we must do. This is for resistance. This is for effort. So you reduce the resistance. No, 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 no. You do not hurt yourself. You do not give yourself pain. Yeah, yeah. So if if there is a lot of pain, once again, show me, Sangeeta. If there is a lot of pain in your arm, this is resistance arm. And then effort is here, and the joint is here, so we are going to reduce the resistance. So you're correct. Uh, what do you call it? The stress on the uh, arm. Tension on the element uh, is gone. Yeah. gone. And then you move your arm up. up. Uh, front to back, back or side or go back. Back. Yeah, this is yeah. fine. Yeah. This is multi axial joint. So there are all, all the directional of them. movements. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I. <laughs> I'll give it over to Dr. Dr. Sheetal. Thank you. Thank Here you. we go. I hope that I my so I have it. As we were discussing, you know, um, KRG has a problem with the shoulder. So we were just discussing very important certain exercises that you would normally do. Our shoulder joint has a full 180 degrees movement that everyone Correct. should be able to have. The moment you have a limitation, you notice that. So this is 180 degrees you need to have. Right. Right? Same thing on the side. Right. Same thing on the side. So it moves forward. It moves sideways 180 degrees. Right. It can move rotation. Rotation. Okay. So if these these movements are limited, we know there's a problem with the shoulder. Right. We check it by just having everybody at, when they come to the office. We say, okay, how much can you bring your hand up? And if you see one person can go this much and the other one go that, 
Yeah. Is the problem with this shoulder? That means it's the beginning of your freezing shoulder, and you want to make yeah. sure that that movement is going on well. So every time, so often, you have to make sure. Bring your hands together and bring your arm all the way up, all the way up. Hold it there, yeah. and then bring it down slowly. Slowly bringing slowly. it down is yeah. very challenging. Yeah. So bring it down slowly and bring it back. So, okay, you you go like this, ma'am. Yeah, well, slow, slow. Go, go like this. Yes. So the second and you, one you are you doing do. much better. But when you come down, bring it close to your head. Face, One more Sangeeta. When when they have problems, how do you bring it down? Okay, when Can you, you have pain in your uh, neck and shoulders, you will have to make sure the less traction comes on your No, no, shoulders. but right now, if we stretch it all the way okay, up. we stretch it up all the way, then lower it to your head, bring it in front of your face, and slowly bring it down. So if you have a lot of pain, that's when you do that, yes, right? Yes, but don't go like this. Yeah. This, this will give you pain. Correct. This is the ideal position. Correct. And rotation of the shoulder is maintained. Right, Dr. Sheetal, right. take so it away. So that was the, the first inflection. Same thing with the side. You have to make sure that you're bringing your arms to the side. Right. So you're rotating outwards. Mm -hmm. so you have more rotation and bring it all the way up. Mm -hmm. And hold yourself up there for a few seconds. Bring it down slowly. That's for the outside. Mm -hmm. For the up rotation, after you bring your arms all the way up. That's the tough one. That's Most people have lost this movement. Yeah. You can use the towel. Yeah. So use the towel like this. Take the towel. Okay. Oh. 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 Yes. Yeah. Put the towel here. Okay. Bring your back. Bring your arm up. Up and down. Cleaning your back, rubbing your back. So if these are important movements that you need to do, make sure that your shoulder, because what happens if you don't take care of your shoulder ranges, which is, it, you can get a pain, you can get stiffness, you can get frozen shoulders, and there's other treatments that you might have to need. You might as well make sure you're, you're able to move your joints around properly so that you're not having issues after when we talked about the shoulder pain. Um, any other, any questions so far? Yeah, I have a question on this. Sure. I've met with more than one accident where I've had very bad uh, whiplash, right? The last accident that I had was an awful whiplash and it took me forever to get out of it. It still bothers me on occasion. Uh -huh. So in such scenarios where you have that excessive pain, your movements are all great. Yes, I do these, most of these, in fact, yes. because my PT already told me right. about these. Yes. But is there anything else that we can do to relieve that pressure in so, those spots? Right. So depending on whether it is tightness in the pain, or is it sharp shooting pain, is it's, it dull achy pain? It's mostly, I would say, achy pain because it's continuous. And it's generally around the time it's going to rain. So I'm a very good predictor of rain. So heat helps your muscles. Circulation. Heat, more than heat, the cold helps me more. That's yeah, what so I've found. Right. Like sharp shooting kind of pain, cold ice pack helps a lot. Okay. So you can try doing the ice pack, rubbing and massaging with any liniment that helps you. Right. Because that's going to help your circulation of your muscles as well. And certain joint decompression kind of. Um, Correct. Manual traction. So what you can do is even hold yourself up with the chin oh. and just pull yourself up a tiny bit. Right. Gentle manual traction. You can do. Correct. I mean, normally a therapist would do it, yeah. but you can do it at home as well. You can so lift I'm it up. I'm not going to talk, but I'm going to say, behind, cup your hand behind yeah. like this. Like, and, and just gently pull. pull. Oh, All right. And then relax. Okay? So that, what happens is between the vertebrae, there's, there's discs. Correct. And those discs are affected when there's an injury. Right. So because of the disc being, losing the elasticity and losing the, um, the disc the space between them, the nerve that comes out gets irritated and um, that's why it's causing the numbness, tingling, weakness, Correct. pain, all that could happen if, if this was worse. So that's why it's very important to decompress the nerves. Mm -hmm. So certain, that's why I said when we do the exercise and stretch, it's going to open up the space between the two vertebrae right. on this side. 
when you do the stretch this side, it's going to open up the stretch on this side. And then that's when you do a little bit of a pull. Okay. The traction, yeah. The traction I did not they know about. Have, they also have home traction units that you can buy if you want. But I think this is, do it gently I think this on does it. Own. Sometimes, sometimes even your body weight helps. You yeah. At the end of the table, I mean, at the end of your bed, and just help yourself. Hang yeah, yeah, little down. Bit to the side, to the other side, and help it. So that should also help you. Um, Thank I you. I have one question. You showed us the technique. <coughs> Can you please explain the importance of TMJ and pain along with neck pain? Because majority of the people, they clench their teeth at night. And exactly. we, we don't know what are they doing here. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the same thing. TMJ is so neck pain can, be, can also be because of TMJ, that you're clenching the teeth too long or even your shoulder, you're shrugging so long. Mm -hmm. And that's why certain things are very important when you you don't even know you're holding your head, your shoulders Shows like up. that. You don't even know you're clenching your teeth. Oh, yeah. Time. You don't know how, and oh, in yeah. eight hours of sleep, you're clenching your teeth. You don't know how much that is doing to your neck. So it's important for your head position pillow. Don't have too big of a pillow. It shouldn't be too small, too big. It should be just enough that your, your neck is in a neutral position. When in doubt, just go online and say, what's the best way of sleeping or best way of sitting? Yep, and it'll immediately pop. Learn, 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 learn more. The more right. you know it, you'll be able to and learn. Better still. Better take care of yourself. Fo follow Dr. Sheetal Desai. And My there you go. My email number is all over the place. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Just uh, answer to your question for the auto accident thing. Um, I work with auto accident cases too. The important thing I want to explain my hand is your now roots from the survivor. All right. And the one brand Bring goes. down. So the, you can see there are four now roots are coming out. Any individual can be pressed. Correct. So anywhere the electricity comes, the pain sensation comes. So with all this, you have to maintain your good posture. Yes. You have to understand the dynamics of oh, shoulder good. joint, cervical spine, <coughs> temporomandibular joint, and acromioclavicular joint. There's a collarbone. Mm -hmm. That also goes there. So. The, with all these four different joints, you are struggling. So just think big, I'm the President of the United States. Oh yeah, America. always look like that. Yes. <laughs> and look down at everybody. <laughs> Not so much that my neck hurts, Don't that's true. Any. Yeah. Okay, so pain, relax. Find Relaxation relax. always helps. Meditation helps. And other Correct. stretches we have showed, but like that's the right. best way you can. And continue the IFC interferential current yeah. if your doctor has prescribed you. Yeah. Too yeah. long ago. No, but it still bothers you. you. Yeah, it does help. Yes. It does help. But I, I avoid all those medications, etc. So the, because... The, the main thing is get yourself yeah. evaluated. And at least you right. get the right advice. Because every individual is different. So maybe your daily routine of your sitting posture is different. Maybe the way you're cooking is different. Maybe you're... Your kitchen cabinets, everything is too high that you have to go up to get stuff. So a lot of factors go into to place when you're complaining of some particular pain. Your body normally is fluid and functional. Because something's wrong, you are hurting. Because something's in, it, not used properly, it's not working right. So if you buy a BMW, right? BMW, <laughs> it works right. It breaks right until you need need some twist and turn and check. So if you're, if you're doing a regular maintenance, regular oil check, regular everything else, there is no need that that car should work any other than a, an excellent car. So we want to make sure that you take care of it well, you do a routine exercise at least 15 minutes out of the 24 hours that you put your time for your body because this body is irreplaceable. You can replace some joints, but the muscles you can't replace. So you have to make sure your joints are fluid, mobile, and then muscles are more strong and flexible, and you have it good. So it's just like doing an oil change. You do a right thing, you do a regular maintenance, you're good. It will run, and you can keep continuing your lease. <laughs> is it advisable not to use pillow? No, you should use pillow. Sorry? What is happening is, this is your head, we talked about it, that it's 20 pounds. If your body, out of the, if I'm 100 pounds, the 20 pounds is my head. If I'm not sleeping properly, my head is constantly tilted if I don't have a pillow and on the side, it is going to bother the nerve roots. It's going to stretch this side and sort of tighten this side. Oh, okay. 
So you should have So you should have enough enough the 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 neck position and the posture should be neutral. It should be neutral. It shouldn't be twisted when you're sleeping. So you put a pillow on your side so it's comfortable and neutral. And nowadays they are selling pillow on the television uh -huh. because they say it, that is a flexible. I mean memory foam and memory the contoured? Foam. Right. The one on the, they sell it on the television all the time. Yes. And there, the foam inside or whatever it is, that is the flex to the mattress. So is it that is advisable to use? The bell pillow cannot be. You cannot turn it. So I don't, I particularly don't like it because then you feel you're stuck in that position. If you're turning and twisting, it's going to take your time. Oh, My nice. husband will yell at me because he breaks and sells those mat pillows. Oh. <laughs> I have a question. I am using a special kind of pillow that has, uh, you know, in, in the middle, like there is a, a depression. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but it has support on the whole side. Are you comfortable with it? Yeah, that's what I was asked to use. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, if you're happy, then keep it. What I, does that pillow do? It, it just, again, it's cradling your head in one position and it's yeah. not going to let you move. Move your neck back and forth. It's just supporting it. So if, it, if you're happy with it, it's supporting the neck. Yeah. Okay. It happened with me when I have the same one. I like my things to be in one. Under the just this is the part you want to relax. And right. That's what exactly you're putting in your pillow. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Yes. When you're lying down on your back, right. these matters, these matters, and these matters. Okay. So three should be in one level. And that's why lying down on your back is very important. Uh, okay. So if you put a pillow, right. when you're lying down on your back, right. make sure it is supporting your shoulder, upper right. body, yes. upper corners, not just here. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's what the this, school this is the part. Right. Okay. And for this, if if um, we'll take the next topic, the core strengthening and back pain. But this is after this. If you are sleeping on the side line, you you this need to make side. sure. This works. Yes, I you. you see the distance. Two hand distance. Space between shoulder and neck. Right. So, this is the height of the pillow, you can probably put it on the side, when you, when you slip on the side line. Mm -hmm. So that will support your shoulder also, your head. So, yeah. that That's how I have also suggested few people, it helped me when it helped me. Okay. So, side line, try to see how many, or how much is the distance. Go home and see it then, plus this is always Good, yeah. yeah. And if you follow yogasana, balkasana, if you know, like lying down like a child, side. lying down in the sleep, like so arm position also matters. Balkasana, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but thank you. This is wonderful. And now she's going to take over the back pain. Do you want to continue with the back pain? Your profession is? Huh? What is your profession? I am also a physical therapist. Physical we studied therapy. together in the same college. Oh, you are a physical therapist. Yeah, but I'm, I'm visiting here. Just. Huh? I'm from Michigan. We go to Bidana Padega. So, um, thank you everyone for watching us. And um, join us next week. Thank you everyone for watching us and um, joining us for this seminar. Um, we are going to continue with more of this informative session. We can do it on Zoom and continue. And uh, Sangeeta and myself, we can be on the same team again. Um, and join you all on Zoom. And thank you for watching. Our number is 516-567-6312. And you can always follow more informational tips on our website. The website is drdesaipt.com which is drdesaipt.com. So they have, we have every two weeks we are submitting and sending more information of how to take care of and to be, we catch different various topics and we add things. If you ever want to get in touch with us or want just general information or general questions, 
feel free to call us and then I can, we can um, certainly send you information or uh, give you an advice. Thank you. Thanks, Telesh Mehta. So, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Sheetal Desai and uh, your colleague, Sangeeta. Thank you. And uh, thank you everybody else who participated in this live event. Um, everybody, this was brought to you live by the NJPRF. Uh, the NJPRF right now stands for New Jersey Professionals, but very soon we are going to change it to U.S. Professionals because we have people from all over the country. So. Please, uh, every Wednesday at 8 p.m., we are going to go live on Facebook. So remember to join us every Wednesday. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Shri Thank you, Sangeeta. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Sangeeta.